So this evening we're privileged to celebrate greatness in our district. We already seen some greatness and we're going to continue that here momentarily, including leadership PSD and the 2023 Spelling Bee Champion. So leading tonight's celebrations is our Chief Information Officer, Ms. Madeline Noblet. Madeline, welcome back. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Superintendent Kingsley, members of the board, cabinet, and everyone here. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, pause for just a moment as we transition. Um, and remind folks for our recognitions, uh, we are so incredibly fortunate to be able to celebrate our colleagues, our students for the tremendous work that they do at local, state, national, and even international levels, as well as, um, importantly, the relationships that we have with uh, those in our community, uh, in the nonprofit sector, with our businesses, uh, with our parents and guardians, and, and so many. Um, so with that, I would like to welcome um, this tremendous group um, at the back of the room, um, as well as my colleague, Nick Peterson, who will lead this recognition. Um, so with that, if you'd like to come up, Nick, um, and then if we could have the entire uh, leadership PSD group come, if you'd like to stand here in front of the screen um, as Nick celebrates you, that would be wonderful. And uh, we appreciate you being here. guys thank you thank you Madeline for the introduction this is the this is part of our leadership PSD group um, not the spelling bee group so uh, even though we wish thank you for letting us um, share a little bit about what we've been up to for this year um, I think the best ideas and partnerships come from a place of knowledge and understanding which is exactly what these people signed up for in leadership PSD Throughout the school year, this group met monthly in various PSD locations and heard presentations from 21 leaders in PSD, representing cabinet, directors, principals, coordinators, counselors, program leaders, teachers, and students. Topics ranged from PSD strategic plan, our latest data and trends, operations, language culture and equity, and special programs like Opportunities Unlimited, Transition Pathways, Futures Lab, CTE, and a lot more. Bringing their personal and professional perspectives, this group had so many insightful questions and ideas. In every session, we wished we could have more time to engage, which having been a former classroom teacher myself, I really appreciated. Um, to help capture the experience and energize this program after a three-year pandemic hiatus, we created a short video that I'd like to share with you now. Yeah, that video was made by a former PSD student, actually, who's now at CSU. Um, before I read the names and organizations of this year's participants, I want to welcome Gage Duncan and Gary Ozello, who each wanted to share a few additional remarks about their experience in leadership PSD this year. Hello. Um. Yes, so my name is Gage. Um, I joined Leadership PSD to learn more about the community and our school district. Um, I was a student in this school district. I was one of the statistics in the Healthy Kids Colorado survey. I was a 504, one, 504 plan kid. I was a fifth year high school student. Uh, I w lived in a single parent household. Uh, I was bullied and I overcame and now I'm a community member. and being able to serve that community now in my position is the reason why I joined the program. Thanks, Gage. And I'm Gary, uh, Gary Ozello, and I was thrilled to be a part of this program. I want to thank Nick. I, want, I would like to thank the board, uh, Superintendent Kingsley. Uh, as, a, as a proud parent of two PSD students who are well into their professional lives and have seated, succeeded in spite of the gene pool, which is shallow at their dad's end, uh, okay? Um, I, I looked at this as an opportunity, like Gage said, to give back. I've been a community member for almost 50 years. I won't ever be able to give back to PSD what PSD has given me as a community member and what PSD has given to my two kids. Uh, but 
This is, was an attempt, and I went in thinking, gee, what could I bring? I didn't bring anything, but I sure learned a lot. Uh, it, was, it was a phenomenal learning experience for, uh, in leadership PSD. As you saw in the video, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, and tell others to get involved with this. I, I applaud the board and Superintendent Kingsley and Nick for overseeing this program because it was absolutely phenomenal. And I learned so much in the past few months that I, uh, again, I just want to continue to give back because we have such an, uh, a great community and are blessed by this school district. Thank you. All right. All right, thank you. So while some of us couldn't join us in person tonight, I would like to name and celebrate this year's Leadership PSD class. So um, those of you who are here, when I name your name, just step forward, give us uh, a wave. All right, thank you. All right, so um, Heather Alderman, Commission on Sports Management and Accreditation. Carrie Brown, Larimer County Extension. Zach Ducharme, Larimer County Department of Health and Environment. Gage Duncan, Fort Fun. Veronica Estelle, Colorado State University. Jillian Frezza, City of Fort Collins. Marty Goldberg, Colorado Community College System. Deems Hargill Road, Bank of Colorado. Candace Hartley, Lamp Reinerson. Allison Hines, Boys and Girls Club of Larimer County. Sandra Jackham, Larimer County Economic and Workforce Development. Amy Kolzak, UC Health. Jesse Manison, The Ark of Larimer County. Michelle Markwitz, Food Bank for Larimer County. Sarah McKean, Boys and Girls Club of Larimer County. Gary Ozello, Canvas Credit Union. Carol Salter, Larimer County. Phoebe Stalker, Banner Health. And Dulcie Willits from Poudre School District. I also want to recognize in the room Don Fight, our volunteer and partnerships coordinator for being a great co-pilot and for helping assure everything worked out. Thanks. Yeah, thanks guys. So I'm very lucky to have been a part of this journey with such a wonderful group of people. We're already excited about how to make Leadership PSD even better for next year. And a few class members from this year are helping with that effort. I think there's been a lot of potential for Leadership PSD to be a catalyst for meaningful partnerships and connections going forward. I invite anyone interested in learning more or getting involved to visit PSD's partnership website for more information. You can just search Leadership PSD there or on Google and it should be the first thing that comes up. Thank you again for giving me the opportunity to share about this program and celebrate this year's Leadership PSD class. I, uh, I want to say thanks from the board, uh, but I also, it's kind of weird, Mike here, I want to face you. Um, but I, I'll give you a little history lesson too, is I actually was uh, part of the team that started this thing about seven, eight years ago, and I am so excited to see how it has grown and matured and gotten better. Nick coming on board to be able to uh, lead it and, and go. I'll give a shout out to Beth Higgins, who ran it for many years before that too. Um, I think it is a great opportunity to get more in depth understanding of PSD. And it has been, I think, a fabulous tool to help our community understand about PSD and the, the little niches and, and all the extra things that we do offer that we unfortunately can't talk about all the time. But there are so many great things that our district does and so many good teams. And the opportunity you guys get to get sit down and listen and see all those is such a wonderful opportunity. Um, and so now that you've experienced it, uh, when you're ready to run for the board, please come and talk to me because uh, it's definitely a great training opportunity. But thank you for your time and your commitment to do this. So thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.
Thank you. All right, so our uh, next recognition of the evening, we are so excited to celebrate our 2023 PSD Spelling Bee Champion. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, my colleague, Sarah Urbanic Carney um, from Teaching and Learning, who will introduce uh, Michelle Whitcomb from Trout Core Knowledge uh, to be able to celebrate our winner from this year's competition. So if you'd like to join me up here at the lectern and um, take over so that we can celebrate this evening. Yeah, go ahead and come on up. All right, I wanted to start off by just recognizing all our PSD spellers that uh, participated in our District B. It was evident the hard work and dedication they put in uh, to be prepared for that spelling bee. And we had a, a wonderful bee this year. So I'm gonna give them a round of applause. I, I am the spelling bee coordinator, but I did not coordinate any of that alone. There was a great team of colleagues, um, including my teammate, Rosie Nevejas, who helped put that bee together. Um, and so I wanna give them a round of applause as well. And then finally, I'm, go I'm gonna introduce Michelle Whitcomb. She's the Trout Core Knowledge Spelling Bee Coordinator and fourth grade teacher, and she's going to recognize our 2023 winner. Thank you, Sarah. Good evening, my name is Michelle Whitcomb and I am the Spelling Bee Coordinator and a fourth grade teacher at Trout Core Knowledge School. On behalf of our principal, Dr. Alyssa Kendall, Nichols' third grade teacher, Mrs. Korzanowski, and myself, thank you for inviting us this evening. I would like to introduce this year's District Spelling Bee Champion, Nickel Gonta, and his parents, Ashwin and Hema Gonta. Nicole Gonta, a third grader at Trout Cornelis School, is an outstanding student in numerous ways and excels at all that he does while continually showing strength of character and humility. He enjoys advanced work in math, learning Spanish, is active with skiing and basketball, and has an insatiable love of learning with reading, writing, and especially spelling. His strengths in spelling recently resulted in winning Trout's Spelling Bee, PSD's Spelling Bee, and a sixth place finish at the 2023 Colorado State Spelling Bee, which is most remarkable as he was the youngest child competing. <laughs> he stayed poised throughout every part of the competition as he went all the way to round 21 at state. This was not his first time winning Trout Spelling Bee, for he also won it in first and second grade representing Poudre School District for the past three years at the Colorado State Spelling Bee. In 2022, while in second grade, Nico was one of 11 students representing PSD at the State Bee. He then went on to be one of 16 students selected to the oral round from about 250 students across the state of Colorado. He finished sixth just like this year and was the youngest finalist. His accomplishments are extraordinary. Thank you so much to PSD and its distinguished board members for recognizing this incredible gentleman and congratulations again to Nicol Gonta and his family. Thank you. Come to the mic and say that. The, the winning word. Accentuate. I'm not sure I can do that. Yeah. Great job. Thank you. Nickel, I'm Mr. Kingsley. I'm the superintendent of schools. I'm so proud of you. 
I was wondering, would it be okay if I got your autograph? <laughs> I'm serious, you're gonna be famous. <laughs> I'm going to hang it in my office, okay? Thank you. So here, and oh, it's, it's a pleasure. Touch your back. You. It is a touch screen, so it's a little funny. Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah